we are uh, on the River Idle and Trent tributary at West Stockworth, which is right at the top of the Trent towards Scunthorpe. The structure you see behind us is the main sluice gate which protects the River Idle from the tidal Trent. It operates twice a day. It protects all the areas on the River Idle from flooding due to tidal influx. The previous gate operated for 75 years. The wheels and the rails were severely worn, had been repaired many times. Every time it operated, when the pressure came on from the tidal side, the gate flexed and banged. It was quite a noise. The EA decided to replace the gate completely. We were called in to have a look at the existing gate and redesign a new gate based on more modern methods. The original design, because it's 1938, was of riveted construction. As metallurgy uh, has improved over the years, bolts have become a lot better and more manageable to get the same strength. More modern techniques were used in the design, which enabled a, a better gate to be produced, which included all new wheels, shafts and low friction bearings. The challenge was initially it was built off the river and installed on the river. We were doing it from the land, which is tightly constrained by houses. The access to the land is, it was poor and we had to have a very, very large mobile crane to lift the gate out, which weighs approximately 27 tonnes. And it was always going to be a challenge to get that crane set up on site to lift the gate. The gate was manufactured and painted and then delivered to site in sections, obviously because of the size of the gate, the roads locally are quite small. We placed it in the field opposite and built it with a large crane on site. The gate was planned to be installed within one day. Because the superstructure had also got to be finished, the large crane was used to lift that in the same day, so both the gate and the superstructure went on in one day. The time scale for the project was four to five months to complete. A lot of the upfront time was taken by design and manufacturer and we had about eight weeks to build and install the gate on site. The gate is now fully operational on auto, working twice daily. We have demobbed the site and we're going to shortly hand over the gate to the EA. ECF have worked with the EA for over 15 years. We have a good working relationship and we know what they need from us and we work well together to give them the job that they require. I think we were chosen because of the high quality of the work that we do for them, which they see on a daily basis all around the country. The construction of the gate with the new paint processes and the new materials we used for the bearings and the wheels, we envision that this gate will last equally as long as the other one. It operates silently completely. When it goes up and down, all you can hear is a motor. No banging, no nothing. <laughs>